Hello folks, Pakira here and welcome back to European Truck Simulator Destination Hammer Hanover. We're just searching for our cargo, which is some more forklifts over there. Uh, and we're taking it from our uh, Duisburg here in um, Ge well, uh, Duisburg, is that Germany? I think it is, yes. Um, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong here. So we're going to pick up these little babies right here. And uh, we should be good to go then. Just slam it. Excellent, okay, so just a word of warning, I still, same day as I recorded my American Truck Series episode and I'm having issues with my steering wheel. I don't know what's, if it's the, an update that GeForce did, I just can't get everything where I am fully happy. So the driving may be a little bit, I guess, erratic in terms of the steering. Uh, yeah, I tend to oversteer and understeer at times because I just haven't got that force feedback or that, that kind of heaviness to the wheel that you kind of get in a real life car. Even if it's got power steering, you still have that, you know, you have that feel about the wheels, right? But anyway, we are going to complete number three today of the uh, Hanover event. So I'll just, while we wait for the traffic to sort itself out, I'll bring up the map here. And you can see here in Duisburg, we are now going uh, along here. We'll go up and towards a Hanover, back to the Hanover Expo Center here. Nice and handy. Uh, so yeah, and we uh, this will be the second time we've done uh, fork hoists. Uh, the first time we did them was from Barcelona to Hanover. Tried to get a job from Dortmund and also Hamburg. I don't know if it was because the distance might be too short um, or what, but I wasn't able to get any jobs there. So we are from Duisburg, thankfully. Because you've got to remember, the uh, we've got to make it a minimum of uh, 200 kilometers. I'm going to pull right out here and just make the most of everything we got. There we go. The train is not as long as I thought or as I feel sometimes. There we go. But we're there anyway. Right. We'll be on our way. We'll get through Duisburg. There we go. Ah, I lost the momentum. I was hoping to keep some of that momentum here. Uh, that's so good. So yeah, uh, the steering may be a little bit erratic, um, and it can, as I found out today in my American Truck Simulator recording session, can and has led to uh, some accidents. Oh, why are we going this way? Like, we were here, couldn't we have just... Oh, I guess we can't get onto the uh, motorway that way. Okay. Turn right. Now, it's not right and red in Europe as well, though, is it? No, it should be. I reckon that'd be quite cool. But hope everybody is well. This is uh, I am recording this on Saturday, the uh, what date? The Saturday, the tenth of September. Um, obviously, uh, last night in New Zealand, uh, Friday we or yesterday morning, I should say. Of course, the uh, condolences to the royal family on the the loss of Queen Elizabeth II, and uh, yeah, it's sad actually. It's quite sad just going through and reading some of those things, but. Look, I hope uh, everybody has had a, well, by the time this comes out, I hope everybody has had a great weekend. And also, so far, you are having a wonderful weekend. You'll be looking forward to the weekend, because this comes out on Thursday, uh, New Zealand time. So, yeah, it's <laughs> I'm recording this on Saturday, so uh, yeah, it's quite a right way. Just getting the most of today. I had a, I went out for uh, dinner for a friend when she comes up to Auckland. We usually catch up and have dinner. And we decided to go to the casino for a little flutter. Uh, very tiny flutter on my behalf um, before heading out to uh, dinner at Sky Tower, the Orbit restaurant there. Revolving restaurant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful meal. One of the best meal I've ever had in terms of everything, to be honest. Um, yeah. Best pork belly, best eye fillet. I've got dessert down in the freezer. Uh, so, absolutely wonderful. And tomorrow I've got a full on day uh, on Sunday with my daughter. Going to oversee mum, and she's going to run me ragged, I know, because she's already asked me to bring the sports bag. So that generally means uh, we're going to have a good kick about, a bit of cricket and everything. So that's my weekend planned anyway. And it's good. So today's a bit of a chill day. I thought I'd just get a couple of episodes of ATS and ETS recorded and ready to rock and roll um, as well. So why not just enjoy the day? So that's what I'm doing today. So let me know how you got up to in the weekend and how your week is tracking. Main thing is that everybody is healthy and well and in good spirits. All right, so we're just going through Duisburg here, and we're just, uh, I think we're still doing through Duisburg. We kind of just got away. We're going through those lights there. We'll get up to the speed limit here, and we should be able to the actual motorway, I think, now. Anyway, I'll just bring that up. We'll get up to speed here, and we should be handy dandy. 
So what the ETA is today, folks? Whoops, see, there's their steering wheel. So the ETA is 3 hours 52 minutes from, well, at the moment. Uh, yeah, so we're good for sleep. We're fairly good for fuel. So we shouldn't be too long. Our time is 2 o'clock, so the ETA is about just before 6 p.m. Uh, we should uh, get there as well. So it's a nice expo center. I do enjoy the uh, delivery point. It's quite nice as well going into. So we, um, yeah, so if you haven't done the event, I urge you get, in, get started. You only have to do seven deliveries. It's, uh, you got to the 25th of September anyway. So plenty of time. Just remember, one of the deliveries does have to be a Crone trailer. Um, from a, from the, from the Crone trailer. I'll just zoom out here. And it has to be a chrome trailer from uh, Wirtle here, uh, up here, there. So that's just one of the um, separate criteria. Everywhere, everything else, as long as it's 200 kilometers in uh, length minimum, you can haul pretty much any cargo to the expo center. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for that. It's an event, um, and I, I think you get a mug, Hanover Expo Center mug, um, and a lunchbox. And something else I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, but I have covered it in my last episode. Go and check that out now. In the, at the end of that, if you want, I do uh, go over the actual event in more detail there. So feel free to check that out, or you can also check out on the Steam page for ETS. And the main thing is also just logging in. Go straight on. Oh my goodness, this map. Make sure you know, making sure you log into the World Trucks website there too. Give you some more updates. And make sure your game is connected to World of Trucks. I'm just going to go around this loopy loop, and then what I'll do is I'll just concentrate a little bit. We'll get around here. We are hauling. Here we go. Yep. 11 tons of uh, forklifts. There we go. I'll get back onto it. We'll be right now. All right, folks. What I'm going to do is love you and leave you here, and I'll get back to you when we are getting into Hanover itself. See you soon. All right, folks. So we are in uh, the uh, pretty much in Hanover now, just in the outskirts here by looks. <coughs> Good old evening shower and uh, yeah, afternoon traffic, rush hour traffic. I'm just going to try and get into that left lane. I think we've got timing there because of the lights. <coughs> so we might as well get. Oh, I didn't see where that car, that AI truck, just decided to dra ram into us. Hey, that was not me. That was definitely not my fault. Uh, he was turned from a side road straight into our trailer. Just going to have a nosy. Thankfully, we've got no damage uh, at all. Oh, the AI and ETS, I guarantee you, and I, I say this a lot, especially in my streams, is a lot worse than ATS. It just reacts so much worse. I think it might be just reacting because the way that the road layouts and everything is a lot narrower. I don't know re really why, but it's a lot worse. And I just realized we've got a roundabout coming up. We should be okay here anyway uh, to come through. But uh, let's cross our fingers and, and our toes and just make sure... And hope no other AI cars decide to plow into the side of us coming from our right. We're not far away from our destination. We're about a minute away now. Uh, this is this roundabout, so we are pretty cool. Um, it's not too bad at all, actually. Keep left. We should be good. Yep, of course. There we go. There's your AI traffic for you. I'm going to just start it. Yeah, I saw that coming, and I'm just going to push him out of the way. Absolute idiot. Stupid AI. I'm in the right lane. I'm turning right, indicating right. Yeah, I'm just going to slow down, and I'm just going to keep going through. Sort your roundabouts out. A Europe shouldn't be able to cross and turn right from the middle of the roundabout anyway. Oh, I don't know. Bloody hell, I'm going to blame it. Yep. See what I was saying about the AI traffic in ETS? It's a, it's a lot. It needs a lot of work. Anyway, I'm going to get back in that lane now. Needs a bit of love. Well, let's get going. Let's just make sure I don't over speed here because uh, the uh, this truck, anyway, it does tend to uh, lose a bit of traction or control. Probably the driver, uh, especially in the rain, as those on stream well know. 
And when it rains, I kind of forget, and you can guarantee a slip slide show. But that's how it is. Alright. Not far away now. Just get maneuver through uh, the outskirts here and get into Hanover, and uh, we will be away laughing. Are we just getting into a little blast on the motorway here? Nice. A very little blast. And here we go. So yeah, Hanover event is another event that, again a couple of weeks ago kind of just popped out of nowhere from SES. I uh, had just done, I think a day earlier, recorded or released the episode back onto Iberia and it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so for those wanting to uh, get around to finishing Iberia, we will, I will, I want to get Hanover done first and then we'll definitely cruise back to Iberia. And I think we've got about five, six cities left to go uh, to complete uh, cruising Iberia. I know, but I uh, do appreciate your patience there. <laughs> and here's the beginning of the Expo Center. I've done this drive a few times now. And like I said earlier, I do really like the uh, delivery point. Uh, it's really nice. I like these extra, you know, different points and stuff. Uh, where it's not just driving into a yard. You kind of go through... Um, you know, you go through a uh, bit of a drive into the complex itself. As you're kind of doing here, which is really cool. So it is raining. Got the lights on, and yeah, that AI gave us a lovely kiss. A lovely, only had 1% damage to the cab. And of course, being involved in a crash, we get a fine. But all is well. Ho. So it's nice here. I would jump out and give you a cab view, but it's raining. So, I don't want to get wet, is it? <laughs> I'd love to know, though, because I know this event's come out uh, two weeks ago. So, is there an actual event? Is there an expo event in Hanover going on in reality? Uh, I would, if, you, if you live in Hanover or from the area, or in Germany, or, or even if you just know, I would be very intrigued to know if there is in fact a um, an event in the uh, like expo event. I think it's a technology or something event. I'd be really interested to see and to know if it is actually uh, going on or has recently gone on in real life. Um, just kind of, you know, I wonder why they're doing a, this sort of an event. I am, I'm enjoying it, but it's quite a curious event. Um, or maybe the expo was like a year ago or a few months ago. Anyway, we a uh, okay. He just wants us there. Okay, sweet, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna just try this. This does not seem as easy as it should be, but perhaps. I am going to get lucky. Let's go. I mean, I don't mind if we have to make some adjustments for the trailer here. Oh, uh, he probably did. Uh, that's all right. Perfect. We will take that. Nicely done. Right, let's decouple the cab. Nicely done. All right, so we get a proficiency, a proficiency bonus of almost 3,000 euros, long distance 270 euros, and a high value cargo bonus 
of uh, 1600 euros very nice let's just have a look here and number three of seven destination Hanover is on target so yeah so again you get a lunchbox a city mug oh that's right and a kind of a hologram of a future truck or something like that that's cool I'm looking forward to seeing that and there we go four lists have already been taken away but until next time folks as always I am Pakira until next time take care of yourselves and each other happy trucking kia kaha